Natalie, now I'm going to take it over and talk about this new museum that I am so excited about. This is huge. The Museum of the American Arts and Crafts Movement is the only museum in the world dedicated exclusively to the American arts and crafts movement. Betsy Walsh is the Director of Development. She joins us this morning to share all the details. Betsy, I love it. We were already chatting uh, before we got started this morning, and I know it's a little nervous this, uh, this time of year as well, but this is really exciting. We are just thrilled to be ready to open and welcome the public through our doors. We cannot wait for September 7th. So I have to admit, when I was kind of researching, uh, preparing for this segment, I don't think I realized what a big deal that this is. I mean, really, to have a museum of this magnitude, as I mentioned, one in, in really, one in the world. I mean, how did this happen right here in St. Pete? Our founder, um, he's a philanthropist and collector and businessman who's from Palm Harbor, Florida. And he chose this lovely spot of downtown St. Petersburg to build his museum and house his incredible collection, um, the best in the world of the American arts and crafts movement. And you will be able to see it all starting on September 7th at 10 a.m. So how do you best describe what this movement is, what the type of art that people can um, see? How do you, I mean, again, this is, you know, it, it's so unique to have this right here. So the arts and crafts movement was a reaction against the Industrial Revolution. These artisans and craftsmen wanted to use um, handmade goods. They wanted to make things with their own two hands. They wanted them to be beautiful and simple and really let the natural material shine through. So I think that you'll see that throughout our museum. So what I love about this, I mean, obviously we're seeing pictures there, paintings or whatever, but I mean, to see furniture in a museum like this, I think that's pretty unique. And look, tiles, and I don't know if that's the correct term for that there, but it seems like it's just a real mix of quite a few things. It's a combination of decorative arts and some fine arts. And so we're really elevating that decorative art to the fine art level. So what is kind of the, the mission? You know, as you as a team have been working hard um, to open this up and get it ready for the public, what do you hope people will take away when they come and visit? Our mission really is to educate everybody about the arts and crafts movement. Like you said, um, maybe not everybody knows about it just yet, but we want to make it available to the general public. I mean, the building alone, I think, is worth the trip. Can you talk a little bit about that and uh, just the sure. architecture there? Yeah, it's a 137,000 square foot uh, building. It's incredibly designed um, with lots of hints towards the movement. Um, so we have um, Alberto Alfonso Architects of Tampa designed the building in close collaboration with our founder, Rudy Ciccarello. They worked on the project for many, many years. And I think that you'll see touches of the movement throughout every single floor, every single gallery that you find in this museum. Well, and from what I understand, this is going to be a great event space as well. We're talking weddings, um, you know, there's restaurants, food. Talk about what this building can also do. Yeah, we're going to open uh, with our arts cafe, which is on the first floor. There's going to be wonderful espresso drinks, pastries, uh, beautiful lunches with soups and salads. That sort of thing is available once we open. And then a little bit later this year, we'll be opening Ambrosia Restaurant as well and our catering and events. What's the feedback you've gotten so far kind of about the anticipation of this opening? As I'd imagine you're, you're, you're continuing to meet people in the community and... Mm -hmm. People are thrilled. We already have over 300 membership households and they are just waiting to get through these doors. We actually have some face prints on our, our glass doors. So people are really that excited. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about the membership. Is that the best way? I would imagine that you guys would, you know, obviously like people to get memberships. What's included? What does that mean to be a member? Mm -hmm. Memberships are annual and they include admission to the museum, um, also a discount in our store and our cafe. It's one of the best ways to support the museum. Um, they're all available right now through our website, uh, museumaacm.org, um, and you can sign up now. You can also buy a general admission ticket at the door when you come um, September 7th or any time after that. All right, uh, just about 30 seconds left. Invite, invite everybody out to the, the big grand opening again. And I don't know if we missed anything. I want to make sure you get it in. But these are exciting times. I think that's everything. I think we covered it all. Um, come join us on Tuesday, September 7th at 10 a.m. And we will be so happy to see you.
Oh, well, again, congratulations. I know a lot of uh, sweat and blood and tears probably went into this, but it is now uh, just about time. So keep us updated. We look forward to working with you in the, in the future. Thank you so much for having us. It's a pleasure. All right. And of course, we will put more details on our website so it's easy to find.